Today is a special day because it's our 50th episode of The Wub! Huzzah! <laughs> And to celebrate this fact, we're going to do the 50th episode in only 50 seconds. Wait, that can't be right. That sign thing took like 10 seconds alone. And this speech is killing more time. I know. We'll go back in time. 50 seconds. We'll cut out that intro and get right to it. Luckily, I just finished turning my office into a time machine. How convenient. Let's set this to 50 seconds ago. And let's go. Oh. oh, man, this feels a little bit too groovy for 50 seconds ago. What time is it? This hasn't been invented yet. This can't be right. I've gone back 50 years, not 50 seconds. I knew I shouldn't have put the second button so close to the year button. This is terrible. Oh. Well, it's not that bad. It's, it's got to wait for the old Wub capacitor to recharge and pop back to the future. Mid 2010s, so I can finish the wub. Well, we might as well check out old 60s Concordia while I'm here. You know, there's something you're not supposed to do when you're time traveling, but for the life of me, I can't remember. But whatever, I'm in the 60s at Concordia. Spinning loop. You've done it, Brecky! You can't touch anything, you've altered the future! What's up, man? Here's a plan, what's the worst that could happen? Do you know we have a student association food bank on campus? I'm encouraging you to all donate any food or food gift cards for our student association food bank. And for those who are in need, please come by and access the food items that are available. It is the season for giving, so please, I encourage you to all donate. Brett, what have you done? Even the smallest thing can affect the future, Bretty. So like, even like us talking right now? Yes, even us talking right now! Oh, right. My bad! We're here from the Mental Health Street team to give you three more events. And we just have a presentation on Tuesday from the Sexual Assault Centre of Edmonton. On Wednesday, we have Dreamcatchers coming in with puppies and bunnies for your enjoyment. And on Thursday, we just have some canvases out there for you to leave your words of motivation and support for mental health. Thank you everyone, and we'll see you at the events. <laughs> and Tegler is the CSA Ugly Sweater Competition where we welcome everybody in the school to come and participate for prizes from 12 to 1. We hope to see you out there. Let's get ugly, Concordia! What's happening? You have to get back to the few! Uh, your present day! Wait, aren't you dark No, I'm not! Now go! Jigglewox! Oh, oh. Well, we may not have finished the 50th episode in 50 seconds, but we did manage to rip a hole in space and time, so yay us. You gotta fix the timeline, Bretty! You broke it! Let's do this! Can you please pay attention here? Uh, Brett's 6 through 12 have been leaving out their dishes. We need to figure out a chore schedule. I think if we really buckle down and stick to it, this schedule can really, really improve things around the home. What do you think? Lots of questions on last week's video. Here's the one we're going to answer. David Patterson writes, Why do you step over the Concordia carpet at the hole entrance? Thanks, David. The reason I step over is because I spent five weeks needlepointing the logo into that carpet. The blisters still haven't healed. See? 